Hi everyone, my name is Pasha. Today I want to share with you my testimony how Jesus Christ came to my life and saved me. I've been Christian for seven years now, but uh, my life was very different. Uh, I started like very ni nicely, you know. Um, yeah, seven years ago when I was in college, uh, I, I met my friend and uh, he basically shared his life with me his uh, like relationship with God, how also God, Jesus came to his life and uh, basically took him away from like a cult family and stuff. You know, he was like under demonic pressure, oppression, you know, and uh, he basically saved him and even he showed him heaven, you know, he has very beautiful uh, experience and very beautiful testimony. Okay, I was wow, that's amazing. I I really like I believed it. I like accepted. <laughs> you know, I was ready to receive that uh, you know gospel. And uh, I remember that day like a uh, man. I I wanna like now I wanna follow Jesus. I wanna become a Christian. What should I do now? He said, okay, you have to confess and you re repent your sins and. Um, and yeah, invite Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you know, and I go, okay, cool, I'm gonna do it now. <laughs> I went to my room, you know, in, in that dorm I was living, and I just start like calling to God, like, uh, tell them, like, please forgive me for all those sins that I, I've done, you know, I was like 20. 22, 23 years old, you know, uh, and uh, of course I've done so many different stuff that I, I didn't even know what I was doing, you know, it was completely wrong lifestyle, you know, and I remember I, I started like crying out and uh, I just, I felt like that holy presence, like Jesus just came to my room in my like <laughs> dirty, <laughs> very basic uh, room in the dorm you know and uh, he came and i felt that holy presence i started like shaking you know oh wow it's, it's real god is real jesus is real <laughs> you know and he like touched me of course and uh, and my life changed that day completely on the next day i was like like new person i wanted to tell about jesus to everyone i wanted to pray for everyone in the sabbath on the street for people i, I wanted to tell them the truth you know and uh, I, uh, yeah, I remember I, I didn't want to do all those things that I, I used to do, like uh, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, even like cursing, uh, like any like bad word. I kind of, you know, he gave me that Holy Spirit, you know, and uh, I really, uh, yeah, I felt that I'm like completely new, new person, you know. But, uh, you know, I, nobody like taught me how to really follow Jesus, how to really read the Bible, how, how to understand that word, you know, uh, how it's important to sustain your like uh, holiness, basically. I didn't know and I started making mistakes, maybe, yeah, it, it, it was maybe just one month I was like very like holy and uplifting, you know, lots of emotions, but with, with emotions you, you can live just by emotions, you know. You have to really understand what, what you're doing and how to follow Jesus, how to listen, how to seek his voice, you know, how to yeah, basically follow his command, commands, you know. I did know that and uh, unfortunately that church maybe wasn't equipped enough <clears throat> to teach, especially like baby Christian like I was, you know, and uh, yeah, I started making a bunch of mistakes, uh, sinning, and, uh, you know, and because I, I didn't close those doors, you know, in my life. Uh, I, I, of course, I didn't know about, uh, like, spiritual war, you know, about demons, uh, those, like, evil spirits. Of course, I knew about Satan, but I didn't know that, uh, that I can be under attack, <laughs> you know that I, I have to like be very careful what I, I'm doing and how to close those doors for Satan, how to defeat, you know, with and be in faith, and, you know, and uh, 
to use your word like God, God's word as a, like a sword, you know. You know, I didn't know all of that, of course, and I start making mistakes. And I back back scene, you start like, you know, I was single, started watching pornography, and of course that door like was open, and those spirits came, of course, and I just meant I start being depressed and this and that you know and li little by little it took like maybe <laughs> almost those seven years yeah first maybe two years i was kind of christian but uh, still sinning and repent sin repent but uh, I, I wasn't free i wasn't delivered i didn't know about even deliverance that i, I had to be delivered you know from all demons you know that was inside me and um you know, little by little, um, I I didn't know that I had to like ask God what should I do. Uh, you know, ask God about everything. Now I know I have to go through God uh, for everything. You know, and uh, what this is what I, I'm doing now, <laughs> and it's completely different uh, relationship with God. What I have now, I'll tell you later. <laughs> And uh, yeah, I even like uh, got married, you know, but uh, she wasn't from church. I couldn't find anybody in church. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know that I can ask God that uh, God can be like really close to me. I didn't know that that I can have those like really close relationship. And I just like uh, uh, continue like living my life and uh, little by little, you know, I start like turning away from God, you know. And uh, the only one thing that I, what I, I believe I, that saved me, that I always was grateful, you know, for everything what uh, I, I had. I just like, thank you, God, for this, for that, you know. But I, I, I was like deep in sin, you know, I, I sin in sin and I, I couldn't even repent, like, from my heart. I felt like uh, those, like, chains on me that devil like wrapped me up with the chains and um, I just felt like I'm, I'm in like in that cage in jail you know and I can't get out I can't even like call God you know and I, I was living like that and it, it was getting worse and worse and worse and worse you know and even it's like uh, and of course my, my wife was like uh, with the you know, with the evil spirits, you know, we, we needed deliverance basically, but I didn't know that. I, and uh, of course, the devil did everything for that, that uh, I kind of like turned completely away from God. The only, I had a little bit of faith and uh, like knowledge yet that God exists, I believed and I just was like, thank you God for, for this and for that. But, you know, as is written, Second Timothy, Chapter 1 verse 9 Who has saved us and called us with a holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given us in Christ Jesus before the world began. So basically, um, God has his own plan for every Christian and uh, I, I didn't know about that verse, you know, of course, I, I didn't read Bible that time when I was singing. But uh, now, when I found out that verse and I realized, like, no matter what I've, I've done in my life, no matter how I was deep in sin, He still chose me and uh, called me for His holy calling, you know, and first He saved me before even word began. So, uh, one day, um, I had a dream. Now I don't remember exactly the picture, the scene, action in that dream. I don't remember that, but I remember like a voice, and uh, I I knew it it was from God. It was angel or some somebody, maybe even Jesus, but probably it was angel. And I remember he told me like Father, like Heavenly Father, want you to come back uh, to Him. You know, it's like basically stop doing what you're doing and come back right now. And I woke up and the whoa, it was really, uh, that dream was really 
uh, from heaven basically message from heaven from whole, uh, from uh, heavenly father and I, I start like oh like even before that day you know I just you know Jesus keep he he was keep like knocking my heart like man open the door I need you <laughs> basically you basically you need me like I need him of course and uh, he, he he was keep going like knocking 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 and I kind of I was so like also like depressed and uh, like that guilt that Satan gave me all those de demons spirits I was in guilt I couldn't repent you know and I didn't know what to do I kind of okay this is my, my life prob uh, probably you know I didn't know how to help myself and I didn't know that how I can even like ask God that he even like came to my dream and called me like just back to me my son okay wow okay and yeah before that uh, that dream I even just like came across on Facebook some like random testimony about Jesus I never never like came across on Facebook Facebook is it's usually like very like angry place like everyone like yelling <laughs> on each other you know nobody like testifying about Jesus and like wow that's interesting let me watch and I watched like, his testimony he he died from heart attack and he saw Jesus and I was and he started crying on his testimony and I was crying go wow it really like touched me and of course I knew God's love you know how he loves like unconditional love and I, I knew that and I kind of wow it's so amazing and then I had the dream and I start like thinking wow God really is calling me you know I need to do something with that and then even after that dream he just because of his like holy presence you know holy that holy spirit you know touched me and filled up me with the love you know I, I, I had so much love next day I wanted like to make peace with everyone uh, that I had some beef you know and I, I just start like texting calling like hey man I'm sorry for this let's m make peace you know and I, I made I made peace with everyone you know I, I had so much love and uh, uh, after that I, I also like like texted my like Christian friend like hey let's let's talk you know and uh, uh, yeah I called him we start talking and uh, I remember how like God start talking through him with me <laughs> he, he like just like destroy all those like things that uh, I, I built in my life those ambitions ideas like not godly you know I, 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 I created so many idols you know in music you know I'm a musician like oh this musician this eh, eh, you know so many things like but not God at all and uh, yeah, he, he started talking to me, like, start basically, like, telling me the truth. And it was like, whoa, <laughs> like, my eyes start opening and that, like, that, uh, sh like, shield or, like, how to say, it, was like, that cover on my eyes was off. You know, I start seeing, like, the truth again. Wow. You know, and uh, yeah, God really spoke through him and we prayed and I, I felt like Holy Spirit just, boom just came and like hit me I was oh, oh with that fire you know inside me I was like drunk yeah, I went home and uh, you know and kind of oh I have to I have to go to church tomorrow like period <laughs> I need to go to church and I and next day I went to church and um, while like worshiping of course I started like praying start repent confess and start crying out you know to god like basically please take me back you know and he took me back even yeah he filled up me again with the holy spirit he took every like addiction i have every sin i did he like clean clean me and uh yeah gave me holy spirit cover me with his blood and even uh, you know i was so with the Holy Spirit that I couldn't even um, like hold I, I felt that uh, like that gift of tongues like start 
coming out and I start praying in tongues like right away while worshiping you know it was so amazing like me like that miracle when they were like really like Jesus come to my comes to your life it's like a revolution it's like boom completely <laughs> so that day like he changed me because you know I, yeah, I had that like bad experience in the sin sinning you know in my like life but he like forgave me completely you know and he changed me he touched me he filled up me with uh, holy spirit and uh, yeah start praying in tongues you know and and then i kind of wow I, I just everything like was like fell basically you know because all those ambitions my like uh, dreams was based on that like basically foundation was not jesus and if it's not jesus it's all you know it's just like a sand uh, and uh, and everything like boom, fell <laughs> and uh, after that I, I kind of oh I want Jesus I want to know now I'm like now I really want to know you I really want to build relationship with you and I start like praying every day like 25 times a day like, worshiping I like I like I he gave me like you know like wisdom and understanding how to sustain uh, like my basically holiness you know and yeah now i completely new person and i'm like so serious like jesus now i i don't let you go i don't even me let <laughs> go from you you know i i'm gonna hold you so strong i don't want to leave you a, a, anymore you know never again never again i can no <laughs> never again and you know i start like watching different videos you know about deliverance yeah i got so much knowledge start reading bible you know and the, that word really start like talking to me and the, it just like start like basically uh, start living in my heart and, uh, and now i'm completely like new person and i just want to serve jesus like jesus is in my head every day in my in my dreams in, in my thoughts you know every time and uh, i knew i mean i know this is the only way how to sustain uh, in, in that like ho in the Holy Spirit like every day you have to like occupy all your like life all your thoughts all your brain all your heart with Jesus only that's it even I mean if you like have even like one little door open in some like uh, you seen like just even a little bit you know devil has authority you know to come and uh you know basically b bother you or even worse you know to attack you you, you know even yeah when, when i like start like really like running to jesus like every day the devil start attacking me in my dreams you know i had like sleep paralysis i i, I even saw that like uh, uh, that evil spirit like black cloud under me i was i was trying to wake up you know and I remember something was holding me, and I, I saw that b black cloud. It was uh, so so bad, you know. I, I I've been like under like few demonic attacks in in my home, and I start like get rid of a bunch of different stuff in my home. Also, like even you know I had to like repent for music I was listening to, you know, because it's very important, so important. Devil, he's so smart, like he knows how to. To, to beat you you know he knows all your spots he has like the whole book of your life and he knows aha uh -huh. he knows all your spots so that's why you have to cover your life all aspects of your life only with Jesus Ev in everywhere you know and this is what I'm doing now keep doing it you know and I, I, I felt like better better stronger and stronger in faith and that fire you know uh, not stopping like because I, I just working you have to like work on this every day you, you can't just like put it like on the out, out, autopilot basically you have to like work on it and just follow Jesus follow every word he said you know and this is what I'm doing I, I and you know all those ambitious like they left me I don't even want to live that like worldly life anymore I, I don't even care you know <laughs> because like Jesus came for real and he changed me that revolution happened you know now 
I want to serve him. And he teach me, teach me, you know, I ask him like, what is my calling? What I have to do for you? I, I don't want to even like think what I want to do for myself, for my life. I, I only like focus on him here. Jesus has to be like the main focus in your life every day, you know. And he teaches me and the miracles start happening. I I start like heal uh, first myself. <laughs> he gave me the book of, because he gave me the Holy Spirit and he said you will heal the sick, you will ca cast out demons, you know. And uh, you know, I even like uh, delivered myself from like some spirits also. And uh, I discovered that I also have a gift of healing. I, I healed myself, I healed my wife, you know, and uh, it's so so amazing. And uh, even I, he he start like he start talking to me because uh, you know I start like seeking his voice like dil diligently, you know, every day, you know. I also start like practicing because it's also everything is written in the Bible, you know, how you have to like seek his voice. <laughs> I start like doing exactly what is written, you know. And it, it's working, you know, the word of God wor works, period, it's just like done, you know, it, it's working, like a, every time with everyone, a, anywhere, you know, I'm from uh, originally from Russia, you know, now I live in States, and the God, Jesus, he's the same everywhere, you know, and his word is working, so I just like, I just like re recommend you, <laughs> strongly recommend you really like follow his word and do what what he said you know and the life is completely different i now i rely only on him and he he like bless me with the with money with work you know even that in that time of coronavirus you know nobody has a work of course i also lost a bunch of work you know gigs because i'm a musician and uh, even at that time he gave me musical work work you know I, I didn't even ask, you know, because I got a God, I give you all my life, you know, just like take care of me because I, I can't do anything in my life by myself. And so, and he just continued blessing me with this, with that. And uh, of course, keep teach, he keeps teaching me with the uh, gifts of uh, the Holy Spirit. Life is so amazing, guys. Please, if you like see singing, you know, you, you can't like get out from that sin. You know, of course, just first cry out to God, like call him, like, you know, because it, it says in the Bible, in the book of uh, Joel, uh, chapter two, verse 32. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered, you know, and uh, I recommended you guys uh, just yeah call Jesus like confess all your sins repent then you have to forgive everyone that our Lord can forgive you so forgive everyone and uh, also like cancel all um, like related things like uh, kind of if if you have if you had a relationship with any occult, you have to also confess for that and uh, ask for forgiveness. And then, yeah, ask God uh, to deliver you, you know, from all those like evil spirits. If you have any addiction, it's all spirits, everything, every disease, every, everything, it's all spiritual, you know, spiritual world is more real than our like visible world, you know, and everyone who is like in some addiction, it, it needs deliverance and God wants you to be delivered, you know. You know, even I, you know, I start having uh, like prophetic dreams. Uh, God showed me like few people who need deliverance, you know, and uh, yeah, so some of them has a problem with the knees, you know, he, he wants me, even me, me to, to come to her and uh, to deliver her, you know. And another guy, he lives in Russia, he showed me, like, he has some, like, uh, problem, like, kind of allergy or stuff like that, and God wants him to be delivered also, you know. And uh, he showed me, 
uh, that guy, I, I haven't spoken with him, with that guy for like, I don't know, like five years. And I, 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 I wasn't even like friends with him. I just knew him in church in, in Moscow. And he, God showed me like this guy has a, like a basically evil spirit, like a demon of allergy that uh, that he, he can be delivered, you know, from that spirit. Jesus wants him to be delivered. You know, that's what I recommend you, you know, to be delivered. Everyone needs deliverance and to be free. God wants us to be free from every demonic attacks, everything. So please, guys, just go to God, call to God, call Jesus to come and deliver you and to set you free, you know. And the life with Jesus is amazing, it's the best. He has his own plan for your life. And just seek his voice diligently every day and he will show you the way where to go what to do how to serve him and uh, and he has that life for us with prosperity and all blessings you know guys please thank you guys for watching uh, please if you like the video thumbs up subscribe to the channel on the next videos I want to share with you uh, how uh, God speaks to me uh, what he showed me like what dreams and also about I want to talk uh, about like spiritual attacks about like evil spirits demons you know how can how they can like also uh, can attack you and uh, how to get rid of them how to close those doors what to do you know from my personal experience so God bless you in Jesus name bye bye